Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today I want to show you an application and web app known as Evernote. Evernote allows you to remember everything, allows you to capture your notes, or you know whether it's form of text, audio, video, etc. Access them anywhere and find things fast. So basically, it's a great organization tool that lets you store your data in the cloud and really access it anywhere and be able to find things fast. Now you can watch your introduction videos, you can watch all their other stuff here if you want, you know, get some tutorials. But you first off want to want to create an account, or you can go premium if you want to pay for the monthly service. I think it's not too uh, not too much. You just like a I think a monthly fee, or maybe even a year. I'm not sure. Is it a yearly fee? We'll check. Uh, basically, forty five bucks a year or five bucks a month, you get super sized uploads, more versatility, advanced collaboration, and enhanced security. Now, like I said, Evernote uh, has multiple ways you can access it. Now, once you create an account, you can sign in through what's known as the web interface, as you see here. And what Evernote does is it allows you to make uh, notebooks and store all your data so that all your data is in one place, easy to access and easy to, you know, uh, uh, what do you call that? Transfer from notebook to notebook, organize stuff from the web, you know, whether it's a notebook for your, you know, maybe a project you're working on, stuff for a new website, maybe you're working on, you know, building a new office, you want to set up a notebook for that. You can set up multiple notebooks as you see here and you can view all your content one thing. Right now I have multiple notebooks here you can see there. I'm not gonna show you all of them, I'm just gonna show you some of them. For example, this is my personal notebook. I took a picture with my iPhone of my classes so I remember my schedule so I don't have to carry around a physical paper around. It's great for taking pictures, using your mobile phone to take pictures of physical objects that you don't wanna carry around, whether it's a book, you know, a homework page, or something like that. And then you can go to your search box here and actually I'm gonna minimize and show you the desktop app because this is the desktop app right here. Um, and the desktop app it works for Windows, works for Mac. I think they also have a Linux version. And uh, you can look at your notes as you see here. You can edit them. Uh, for example, I made this note right here for uh, what do you call that? Podcasting equipment that I want to get. I want some podcasting equipment I was interested in. I made some notes. I dropped the pictures in. It's really easy. You can drop pictures in from Firefox. So, for example, let's say I was looking for you know a podcasting kit. I can open up Firefox here and Google a podcasting kit and go podcasting kit now I can do multiple things I'm just gonna go to images to pick a random image here so I mean let's say I was interested in this USB podcast kit now I can drag the image straight into the desktop app there's also a web clipper where you can right click and add to Evernote you can do that I would it's gonna processing the clip data you guys can't see that's in the bottom right of my screen but it's gonna go ahead and give me a title and I can give tags to that certain clip so I can say you know I can say uh, podcast uh, and then you know set up whatever I want to put and then I can put more you know and I can adjust what uh, notebook I want it to go into so I'm gonna say I want to go into personal and I'll say podcast set and I'll say notes added one and this shows in the bottom right screen so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize and I'm gonna go to my personal thing here and as you can see here it just synced over I can see now the USB podcast kit and I can add some attributes to it. I can add, you know, notes, I can say, you know, the price, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. It has a full functional text editor. Uh, you can add a lot of stuff here and then obviously sync it amongst your multiple devices. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this note now. You can also print out your notes um, and stuff like that. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. And sorry, that's personal, so I don't, some of this stuff I'm going to have to blur out. But anyways, um, going to, I think I can show you something here, let's see, uh, if I go to all notes and then I click on classes, as you can see here, um, what do you call that? Sorry if some of these will be blurred out, that just for the fact that I can't show you everything in my personal notebook, because some of it includes like locker, I mean, not, not, nothing that you guys would really be interested in, but still, anyways, um, I can, has, uh, one great feature in text recognition, so you can see here, this is my class schedule, which I really don't mind if you guys see, but, now let's say I was looking for, you know, I was trying to find out what room number my Cisco class was in or, you know, anything like that. So I can type in the word, I can start typing in words and you can see, as you see there, it kind of highlights those words. So for example, if I was trying to type in home, I can see here that it's trying to give me whatever it can, uh, this isn't the best picture because the paper's all crumpled up, but what, you know, those letters where they're at and stuff like that. And in this case, it found the word home right here in the thing obviously it wasn't perfect but you know it still did a pretty good job and I guess I can try other words like PE oh sorry PE and it'll give me all my notes that have that relevant search within it so in this case I found my PE and this can do it not with only papers but you know like posters if you want to take a picture of like an event that's going to be happening and you know you don't want to forget just take a quick picture with your iPhone or Android or whatever phone you have because they also have a mobile version on the iPhone where 
as you see here, I'm gonna turn my phone on, and you guys should be able to see this in a picture-in-picture -picture type thing. Evernote uh, allows you to take text snapshots and stuff like that on your mobile phone, and this will sync with your online profile. So if I was to take multiple snapshots on my cell phone, it'll sync up to my desktop app, and I'll be able to view it, and I can sort it out in certain netbooks and stuff like that. Uh, you can add tags to your notes, so you can see here I have some stuff like bills and some other stuff, monthly podcast up, school schedule, homework, to-do list. It's really, really great. Really great if you want to get productive and start organizing your notes for, you know, even if you're like a video blogger, you want to organize notes for a video, you want to organize, you know, anything for your new channel you're starting, a website. You just want to have one place to organize all your notes. You can go to the attributes here to see when it was created, last modified. You can have saved searches in here. And of course, view your trash can for stuff you may have wrote, uh, wrote and then deleted. For example, I have, what do you call that, some odd, you know, audio notes that I might want to remember that, you know, if I'm walking and then I also remember something that I don't want to forget, quickly take out my iPhone, sync it, you know, say that, uh, you know, say whatever into my audio note and then Evernote will sync it up to the cloud. And that's a great thing. Everything is stored in the cloud. You don't have to worry about it, you know, losing your data because it's all, you know, it's on the cloud, one central place that puts it out to your mobile phone, to your desktop, to the web app, whatever you want to use. Um, and the great thing is, um, in Firefox or whatever browser you're using, you can get a bookmark to bookmark certain stuff to add to clip, or you can download what I downloaded. It's called the Evernote uh, Web Clipper, and you go to add-ons. It's an add-on for Firefox. Uh, there's one for far, uh, Chrome, etc. And basically, just provides a bunch of and context menus to easily add a selection or an entire page to Evernote. So if I want to add this whole like this part, just this top part of the article right here, this whole snippet, I can just add this snippet of the. Uh, article to my Evernote account you know whatever I can you know take snippets I can take uh, a picture I can take links whatever I want to do that's a great thing about Evernote it's really you know has a lot of possibilities and again you can download the uh, web app up to you whatever you want to do and uh, yeah that's about it Evernote's a really really great app I hope you guys check it out it has you know multiple features and then you can try a lot of different stuff uh, do check it out again evernote.com to download it for Windows or Mac uh, you can get the web app, you can, you know, you, you don't have to download anything, you can, uh, what do you call that, you get the desktop app, or of course, store and install it on your mobile phone, as I showed how it looks on the iPhone, there's, you know, multiple platforms out there. Anyways, do give it a try, great uh, application for taking notes and, you know, syncing everything in one place. Again, evernote.com, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.